Hello my friends, my name is Dragonheart the Prince of Wales and welcome to episode 9 of my Mortal Empire campaign. And in the last episode we took Talabeklan. I'm now going to be moving down towards Null with both my armies. I'll be hoping to actually do some damage there. I've actually unlocked some more things in this campaign. I can actually do the blacksmith thing now so I can get armor for infantry units, weapon strength for flagellants, pistolers, outriders, income from ports, that sort of thing which is going to be helpful. Um, I was thinking about what I was going to get. I'm actually going to be getting the mortar in a turn's time. Unlock recruitment of mortar, the gunsmith. I think I have to get a forge or something else here before I can do that. But that's going to be amazing. Um, Helmgart has a building slot free as well. Got the blacksmith there to help out for Regsgard halberdiers. So I've got a few things in place that I can um, sort of go with here. Getting a good growth rate in here actually get some of these up to tier 3 already so watch this space and go sell I can also get that up to a farm I'm going to keep the money firm anyway let's end turn because we are at the end of turn phase from the last episode following on I've actually got three big settlements now Eilhart, Altdorf and Talabeckland so I've got three capital cities and all the provinces that come with it so I've got three full provinces secured I think if I go towards Nuln, Wissenland and take the three settlements there Ooh, Auckland Non-aggression pact. Uh, I'm not interested in what they've got anyway, so... Um, I want money for it. No, okay then. I'm not going to give you money then, I'm not interested. It's got to suit me. They're actually moving an army out of Nuln as well, so Nuln could be if they're taken. I might use my wizard to scout down there first, see what they've got. But I feel like naturally that's the way to go. Head towards the vampires, because the vampires' corruption is going to cost me and kick me in the balls in this campaign. The longer I leave the vampires alive and the more the empire, uh, the empires? <laughs> the vampires spread their uh, vampiric corruption then the harder it's going to be for me to keep settlements under control. So I'm going to have to go all in against them basically and try and wipe them out uh, if possible. Technology's been researched, state troop. Public order province has gone up. A couple of trade gains there. I've got research available so Imperial Harbour, get growth, income from trade, income from ports, get income from ports, because I have got a couple of port cities now, along the coastline here. I've got five grand to spend, what can I spend it on? Right, I can't do anything there. Let's think of this strategically, I can get this up here, It'll give me great swords, but it requires an armoury, however, a little bit more money I can get that armoury. Money being the key object, get the cloth here. Now Grunberg or Eilhart, let's go with... Oh, I don't know. I'm looking at what I've got, you see. I could get stables. Oh, I don't know what to get. Tier 3. This is Tier 3 though, so why can't I... Ah, because 4,000. A Reichsfort. See, that's going to be useful. A Reichsfort. And then the Armoury, I think, isn't that what it needs? Requires a blacksmith. I already got the blacksmith. I can get Reichsguard. I could actually get Reichsguard quite soon. In the campaign, if I had a bit more money. Hmm. Let's upgrade our income buildings then, for now. Let's go full income. We'll leave that building slot there. Right, we've got everything being built here. Right, you're going to move out. Palapheim is still happy, even though you're gone. I am building a public order building, and I am upgrading Kemperbad. Talapheim has walls. I can put something else in Kemperbad, so let's just keep moving. Let's get to Grunberg with you. And let's get you to Grunberg from there. And let's get our wizard out. You're a wizard, Harry. I want to see where things are. Barak Van Police stop, yeah, whistling that burger there. Follow Who are they at war with? Who calls? They're at war with Crooked Moon, that's it. They are defensive allies of Karak Moon, that's kicking the balls. Oh, Karak Moon only have one settlement. I ain't Karak known to bugger off, don't I? Times grow dark. Non-aggression pack with Karak known. Alright, I got a non-aggression pack with them anyway. 
So if they do clear war, they break that pact and become a bit dishonourable maybe, so could be worth considering that. But yeah, we'll go down Nuln, Whistleland, and go around sort of the periphery and then into Everland and then the Vampires. That's how we're going to do it. But I will be recruiting some decent stuff as I go along at the same time. Emperor Karl Franz actually has a good army already. Um, I got spaces for you. Oh, I can get my mortars. I have got my mortars, okay. So it is from this building. The gunsmith. Yeah. In that case then, guess what we're, get, we're getting here? You need a mortar here. You're missing a mortar. I know it means my wizards out to the army. I can always take one of these spears out if I need to. Um, I, is it worth getting the third army? Probably not. I've got enough for two full stacks. I think three full stacks I would be pushing it somewhat. But let me know what you think if you think I should get another army at this stage of the campaign. I'm curious to know what you guys think so far. Obviously I had that siege in the last episode. But we'll see how it goes. Karak Asgaraz. Helmgart. Karak Ziflin. I wouldn't mind getting rid of Karak Asgaraz actually. Maybe I'll go for that because whoever takes Karak Asgaraz it's going to be in my way if it's dwarves or or even a green skin faction. i got enough to take that out now. Haven't I? Ostland have been destroyed. Can I actually mark, I can march through here? Right, Karak Asgaraz. Oh, then again, I'll be breaking bloody non-aggression packs, won't I, if I do that? Right, forget about it for now. Right, we've got money again. Uh... Four grand I need for this. I still need to get some of these built up though. Let's get Isle Heart to be a town. Save the money this turn. Everything's been built up nicely. Nothing else I can do here. Right, get you. That's our board up there. My orders are to move. Oh, we're gonna go for null, I think. Any repercussions we get, we can play Karak Ziflin perhaps off Karak Asgaraz and the Greenskin faction, Grugamoon, so either way. Oh, they got a full stack there. Who calls? Now hmm. the nation calls. A treasurer. He's in striking distance as well. The winds blow strong. Actually, assault units, my wizard. Check the percentages right now. Cost 300. I'm gonna give it a go. Not likely. A failure. Damn. Get a little bit of experience for that action anyway. Curious to see where these guys go. Maybe I siege with one and. and... Right, next turn, we're gonna siege with one. Let's yes. see if we can get. Come then, only Sigma's god Ulrich. Break your alliance. Oh, they're allied with them, are they? Oh, that's my alliance, that is. <laughs> that's my alliance, those idiots. Break your defensive alliance with Karak Norn. I'm willing to join your war against Crooked Moon. Disagree with that? Ah, it was a pointless offer, wasn't it? They might not join anyway. But I get my allies to join from up here. <laughs> Make use of them, maybe. M Middleland, the, the faction I didn't intend to be allies with, but it might actually come into play here. And get them to come south, perhaps. And I'll give them a war target that can go and attack Wissenberg or something. Give them a target that's miles away, just get their armies killed, basically, in the process. There they are right now, look. Middleland. Right over the border to Altdorf. I'm enjoying this campaign a lot though, there's a lot to think about. I quite like the units available to me. I, I like the way I've done this campaign as well, I haven't sort of rushed it. I mean I'm on turn, what, 20? And I'm having a blast. I'm, I'm really thinking about my strategy, what units need to recruit, what effects the campaign will have on me, that sort of thing. The fact that it's the Mortal Empire as well, I've got the other factions to come into play later on. Karak Norn have been destroyed, okay, that Oh, chaos are in this game, okay. 
Master strength. Chaos, chaos, chaos. Uh oh, chaos. Right, was it chaos? Oh, was it chaos? Was it? Yeah. Ah, that that's perfect. I think I think it worked out for us. Oh no, wait, that is that's kinda of cool, that's why not cut known. Either way, Crooked Moon just taking a little bit of land down there, so we might be okay. Right. Summon the Electric Get you out of that. I would have you have you siege in. Amber success chance. Moving off. I'm moving you up quite aggressively, Carl Franz. I could probably take that army on, but oh shit, I can't put you in ambush from you. I serve no master. This may actually work out for me, right? Let's just um, get things built up a little bit more for me. I haven't got my four grand either. Get Grunberg next. Just get income. Yeah, let's get the income. Hang on, we'll put it over here. So much stuff I can build up, see. Now let's get up to tier 3s. Get all tier 3s in Reichland first before we do anything else. Got more income coming in anyway. Oh god. The Empire. Nunga. You could take out Nunga probably. They have an army there as well though. But you can attack in the field too. I am a soldier. I'm gonna use you. Why can't I assault? I have insufficient funds. Damn. Moving off. Scout down there just see anything else. Okay, nothing that peeled off. What does the Emperor Attack Gnome with you. Do we Bring wipe this army out. They're encamped. They're encamped, so it's gonna be quite difficult. Praise right, siege null. Fuck it, we're doing it. Declare war. Right, we actually did okay. The Karak they're only trade partners now, so they aren't defensive allies anymore. So it worked out perfectly. Right, we're at war with Nuln. We're at Siege and Nuln, rather. I've got an open field battle now to fight with Carl Franz. Yes. I could bring the wizard in to play. I think I don't need him, though. Into Bass has ran off. Move. He actually ran off here. Yeah. But he's not in reinforcement range, is he? Absolutely not. I'm suffering attrition if I take Wissenberg though. He's got a choice to make. Do you go there or there? Surely he's not in range. Men, we must attack. Ha <laughs> ha! Lovely. I'd auto this. Oh, I wish I hadn't done that. Close pistol he is. That's ridiculous. That's fine though. I've taken land off them. Could raise it, sack it. I'm off by it though. Passive ability, Pigeon Plaque Appendant. Minus five, okay. That's by the by, really. By the comet. I'll keep the pistol ears, because I might need them. I wish I kept them, put the mortars with you now, though. All right, Carfrans, and give you more hit points. Could bring in a horse, actually. Cost if I can give up your leader of men. His aura size goes up by 25%. Want that. Missile resistance, don't care about that at the moment. It's untainted local province. Let's give, let's give you hit points. I've actually taken Wissenberg. They've got to react now. Ready. And I've got you. I've got money to do this now as well from that last battle. I could assault the leader here. Forty-one percent. Let's go for it. Let's go for it and use him. What do you want of me? Yes, successful. I've actually just harmed. The general took a well, quarter of his health away. The winds blow strong. And now you can level up some stuff here. Exorcism, armor melee, and breakable is good. Light of battle. Let's give you that. Could be useful if I have to use you in a battle in a moment. And yeah, you're actually giving me boost income now as well. And Wissenberg now has my spearmen and stuff there. Let's get rid of that building. That building's shite. And you're He's pinned more. down by here unless you come out and attack me, which would be foolish. And I do have mortars here. So it's worked out really well here. Really pleased. This end turn. I know we haven't fought the battle. I wasn't going to fight that battle against five units, was I? Although if I had fought it, I would have lost half my pistoliers like I did then. But hey, that's by the by. Next stapper, 
I could probably use the fact that they have Karak Asgaraz as a as a blessing really because the Crooked Moon have two settlements on the mountains now. Nice little buffer for me. Crooked Moon have an aggression pack with me still, so they're not well they might attack me, but they shouldn't attack me. Their main armies in the north at Middenheim. I can't see them coming to play in this war at all. But you know, they're up there. See what happens. You know, see what happens. It's gone really well though this campaign so far. I'm making the right moves, I feel. I feel like I'm I feel like I've got to the point now where we're like we're two years after release of the first Warhammer game, we're we'll shortly be coming to a year for the second Warhammer game. And it's been what, six months, Mortal Empire, something like that. And I've got the point now, where I feel like I'm really mastering it. They didn't attack me. Not obey. Why didn't they attack me there? Idiot. Ready. I've got a full strength army here and I can attack him even more. Ulrich's will. I'd surely win that. War calls. Let me just continue this siege because I might be able to get Carl Franz Cup and help out here. I serve no master. I'm gonna assault him again. Oh critical failure, damn it. Been wounded. Gotta take time to recover. It's only a wounded though, she will come back. Get more money from it. The nation calls. What? Sigma forbids this. Oh, they got. They're only basic units, though. I feel like it I can win. Time. Fight for our I feel mission. like I can win this. Oh, quick save. I do have two pistoliers, which is annoying. I have a space free in this army, I think. No, I don't. It's a full stack. Right, my friends. When we come back, we will have this battle. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye. Thank you for watching the video. I want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons and all my sponsors on YouTube Gaming. They're currently on the screen right now. For more information, check out all the links in my description and check out the links on the screen as well.